Tonight, we know murder charges are coming down against the man accused of drunk driving when he crashed with a car and killed two little girls inside, as well as their adult cousin. The suspect is expected to make a court appearance in the coming days, but for now, he remains hospitalized, along with the father of those two little girls who were killed. 24-Hour News 8's Leon Hendricks has our report from Bronson Hospital in Kalamazoo. Both the suspect and that surviving victim are reportedly doing better, both of them still recovering here at Bronson Hospital in Kalamazoo. While one of them will have to deal with the reality of burying two of his daughters, the other faces the possibility of a long prison term. As the lone survivor in the car where three people were killed recovers, a suspect remains in the hospital awaiting release from doctors, but expected to be quickly taken into police custody. Prosecutors have authorized 11 counts against 32-year-old David Glenn Johnson II. They include three counts of second-degree murder and several other charges related to drunk driving and driving on a suspended license. After the crash, help wasn't far away. South Haven's police chief happened to be in the area and was one of the first to Bonded to the scene. 911 callers could immediately tell that the crash was bad. Yeah, we got a, a bad accident in front of the Ginger Man racetrack on 388. You tell if anybody's hurt? Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's some people hurt. 24 year old Brittany King was killed along with young cousins Cassidy and Candace Berryhill. They were four and two years old. Family members are still working to make funeral arrangements for the young girls who were just getting started with their lives. And as you might imagine, it's been absolutely devastating for this family to deal with. Some of the family members were at the family home today cleaning up. Even that was a challenge, seeing the girls' toys around the house, even their fingerprints on the windows. For now, they decided not to clean them off. Reporting in Kalamazoo, Leon Hendricks, 24-Hour News 8.